Hey guys, this is John from Walkthrough Code. Uh, in the last video, we talked about creating a child component and uh, and props. Uh, how to, in other words, how to pass information down from the parent uh, component to a child component. In this particular, or in this video, we are going to talk about forms and how to set the state of a component. Um, we're not going to do that with a parent and child, we're just going to do it in one component and then in the next uh, video we're going to talk about that in more detail and how to set that up with a parent and a child component. Um, so let's create a, uh, let's create an input here, input, actually let's make it here. Um, input type text. Um, interesting thing about React, if you, in your uh, image tags and your input tags, you have to throw a self-closing forward slash, otherwise it won't know what you're talking about. Um, it'll say you have an unclosed, um, unclosed element or something to that effect, and it just it's just annoying, so don't do it. Um, so, okay, so now that we have this input, um, we're gonna talk about how to do this. So let's, um, let's start by using, let's say a ref. We'll say ref equals um, name or something. Um, and then maybe we'll put another one down here. Uh, and actually, let's to make this marginally easier to read, let's stick this input inside of here and say name. For, okay, and then here we'll just copy paste this and make this uh, age, input type number, and we'll say ref is age. Okay, so now, let's see, okay, cool. And let's put a button. Um, button, we'll say click me. And we'll say this button, we'll, we'll wrap this in a form here in a second. We'll say button type submit. Um, and then we'll create a form. And move this stuff in here. Okay, and then the one of the only other things that we have to do, we'll talk about what ref means in a minute, but then here we're going to create something called on submit. On submit is a React um, event listener thing that basically like if you have this attribute on here, if you submit this form, it's going to run some method that you write inside of the class. So here, like a common pattern for this would be to see to say on submit and then we'll say handle submit. Um, but we need to say this dot handle submit um, because this is referring to this particular class and I'm kind of making this mistake on purpose just to show you what happens because I forgot it and I still forget it so we're gonna create this uh, function or method called handle submit and we uh, in all of them they get the event uh, event parameter in there that you can access and obviously we're going to have to utilize that because we're submitting a form in an HTML page which is going to refresh the page so to prevent that we're going to say event.prevent default um, and then let's play around now actually so let's let's do this let's say a uh, console console.log heard if we can hear it. Uh, so then we'll go in here and we'll just type some business in there 
and awesome. So when we click this button, it hears the fact that this is being called, which is great. Um, so now we're going to go into the form and we're going to say uh, log and we'll say um, the age uh, input and to get a hold of this we're going to say this uh, dot refs dot age and then we'll save that we'll just put some gobbledygook in here and then we'll put 33 and so here's where this issue comes into play so it says cannot read property refs of null well I'm like I'm pretty sure that this is the right thing um, this is the right context however what happens is that the context is incorrect so you have to give it the correct context by saying dot bind this and what do that does is it gives it it binds it to the parent uh, which is the component rather than um, the child context which is which threw me off so many times it's just one of those things that you just have to remember to bind it to the component otherwise it won't have the right context so if we save this and then we go over here and we put some gobbledygook and then we say 42 and we click this and then it, so it gives us that proper context and if we want to say dot value rather that was my mistake if we go in here and we just put some crap in here now we can see it so it has everything to do with the context and if you don't give it if you don't give this uh, method the right context then it won't realize that you're referring to the component and it'll say it'll it'll look in the child context and it'll say I don't have a refs so I have I don't I don't know what this is that you're referring to um, so now okay let's um, let's see if we can change one of these though um, and what we can do to do that is basically we can um, change the state using this method called set state and again this has to if it's in the wrong context it won't work so remember to give the, the to give the the method that write this to use you have to bind it to the correct um, the correct context which in this case is the component so here we can go in here we can say this dot set state and there's two ways to do this and if I'm being honest recently I actually learned about the second way recently but um, apparently set state is an asynchronous method and I did not know that um, so what you have to do when you set the state is you have to basically any node in or any key inside of this you have to replace if we had let's say we had people and and things and other things um, we we couldn't just put set state for people um, we would have to set the state for everything because if we did set the state it would get rid of everything all of the things and all of the other things um, so we have to put the whole state in there um, luckily for us we only have the people but we can say um, people is people dot um, sorry this dot state dot people um, dot let's say um, I don't know dot push and then we'll say um, name colon name or sorry name uh, colon this dot refs you know what let's clean this up a little bit let's do um, uh, let name equal this dot name or sorry this dot refs dot name dot value and we'll say let age equal this dot refs dot age dot value value seriously value and then here this lets us use the shorthand ES6 so typing name name would be the same as just writing name so if 
if we follow that, we can say name and age, right? Because then we're taking this name, we're taking this age, and we would end up going like this. And with the e ES6, um, oops, age, with ES6, it allows us to just shorten this by saying name and age, because it's a duplicate key and value pair, um, which is nice. Little syntactic sugar. Um, so let's do this. Um, let's um, let's add somebody here. So let's say um, Bob is 44, and now we get some sort of error. This dot state dot people dot map. What's going on here? This dot state or this dot state dot people dot map is not a function. So let's um, let's try this. This may or may not make a difference, but we'll find out. Okay, that did work. All right. Um, okay, so that happened. Um, so the point of all of this, though, is that we have this, let's get rid of this console.log. Um, so here we have this form, and this form has a type submit. On submit, it runs this function that we have to bind to the controller. If we do not bind to this, it'll say, I don't know what this is that you're talking about. Um, then this handle submit function, we assign this value, the name value, to this.ref.name.value, this.ref.age.value, and then we're going to set the state, and we're going to add this name, on to, uh, add this particular name, so add, I think that would be add onto, name it, this name, this particular person onto this people array. Um, so thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, if you have any questions, totally leave them down in the comment section below. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, I want to keep creating videos for you guys. So. Yeah, um, keep coding, and I'll see you in the next video.